wait, you're, you're going to be an extra. Yeah, I applied, but they don't email me. <laughs> I'm really sad. <laughs> I want to be in a film. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a huge haul for you today which is courtesy of Rose Girl. They actually contacted me and gifted me a few things that I'm going to show you guys and I thought I'd try it out because I never really order from wholesale style websites especially because they don't really use their own pictures of the product and stuff. It's like if you order off eBay I'm never sure of the quality so I ordered quite a bit and I will show you guys what the quality is like and I'll try it on for you all so if you want to see that then just keep on watching. So the first thing is actually this jumper that I've got on now and I think this was around $21 and I ordered it in a large and it looks pretty thick from the outside I guess like if you look at this it looks like a pretty thick jumper but it's actually quite thin but it's quite nice I think if you're just going to wear it on like a warmer day so I do think the quality is actually pretty good and um, I'll be trying it on so you can see the proper length of it and stuff because it is more of a dress however I'm wearing it as a jumper now but it wasn't actually branded as Pablo on the website so if there's like a designer kind of dupe thing you want to find you won't find it by searching Pablo it was just called like large oversized jumper or something. I'll have all the links in the description for everything that I got though and it takes a little while to look through the website because there's so many things on there but I do actually really really like this. I love the colour of it and I'll definitely wear this around and I don't know it just looks really nice really casual so yeah I'm impressed with this one. So a lot of the stuff I got was actually swimwear and I haven't actually tried any of it on yet so if it's not too revealing or anything and it fits properly then I will post me trying it on. If not I'm just going to describe the kind of quality and the fit of it. So the first swimsuit I ordered was this one. I've just checked and I think it was $14.48. So it's just a white one piece with a knot in the front and it's described as backless because the back does go quite low as well. And if you can tell from the fit here, I think it goes really high on your hips if you like that kind of look because as you can see it got a really really low bit here. It does feel really nice and thick as well and there are some pads which are removable in here. They've got a little bit where you can pull them out so it wouldn't go too see through and it does seem to be a double lined or in the top area and... Actually all of it is double lined so it should be okay and it shouldn't go too see through but I will try it on but I'm really excited to wear this. It does feel really nice and well worth the $14. So the next one I got was another one piece and it's really hard to kind of see the top but it is scalloped, scalloped, <laughs> just on the top there you can just kind of see that detailing and it's got a removable strap that you can put obviously around your neck and it's got in the back, you can see they've got proper cups in them and they are underwired with pads in. It's kind of backless again but it's got a strap at the back to keep you in. And it's a similar material to the last one I just showed you. It's quite, it, it doesn't look knitted but it kind of feels really thick and almost, it looks kind of woolen from a distance. Like I can't really describe what the material is but it's really nice and thick. And it's also double lined all in the front. Uh, but not in the back in this one. I'm really excited to wear this. I think it might be really, really flattering. So, yep, that's another one that I picked up. And I'll just check the price for you really quickly. This one was $12. Okay, so on to the next one. It's another swimsuit I think I've just grabbed. Yes, it is. I'm really excited to try this one on because it's got a really big V in the front. So I ordered... <laughs> For some reason, two of basically the same tropical swimsuit, and this one's got straps again that are removable. But as you can see, you can hook them on both sides. So I bet you could do like a cross in the back or have it over one shoulder if you wanted to. But this one again has got the cups which are underwired, so it will keep it really nice and secure. And you can wear it strapless, of course. And it's got a really nice tropical print. I think it is all double lined again at the front, and again, it feels really nice and thick. I wouldn't say it feels like any other, it feels kind of just like if you get an Adidas swimsuit or a Nike one, you know the classic ones to wear to swimming class and stuff. It just feels like that material. So it should be really nice and I just hope it's comfortable with this big V here because it is obviously wired so I don't know how uncomfortable that would be. But I just thought it would look really, really nice on the beach or something so I picked up this one. This one cost $14. $14. The next thing is a jumper that I got because I wanted to try a few different things and not just swimsuits. So this one was a bit more expensive I think. This was the most expensive thing I actually got. It was about $24. 
and it's just this grey jumper which has got a small V on the front and it's got some little slits on the side and I like how it's kind of all, I don't know what you call it, when it's higher, it's higher up at the side than it is at the back and the front. I've got a top like this and I really like it, I think it fits really well and I believe this is only in one size as well and it's come as a medium. But it looks like a really nice thing to wear with just some leggings and boots in the winter. So that's what I picked it up for. There was a picture of it on the website. It looked really nice on the model. So I thought I'd give it a go. It's not super thick. It's kind of like a medium wool. But it will keep you really nice and warm in the winter. So this was about $24. So what I found super interesting about Rose Gal was they actually, they had these bikinis with the Zaffle background, you know, on that like wooden floor. And when I ordered them, they actually are Zaffle bikinis. So they've all got the Zaffle sign on. So a few of those swimsuits I've just shown you weren't. I think the white one might have been, but a lot of the bikinis I've ordered were from Zaffle. So I ordered this baby blue one. You might have seen it. I've seen it on Instagram and things like that. And it's got the tie on the front and it's got adjustable straps on the back so they're kind of thick and they go a bit thinner and it does have pads in as well let me check if they're I, oh they are removable pads as well so that's pretty good um but i really like the look of this and these are the bottoms as well so i got these in a medium and they just tie on the side i think a lot of their bikinis are quite cheeky style because they're not that wide at the bottom if you look the front and the back are exactly the same so they are a bit more revealing depending on which beach or wherever you go to but i like how they've got the tie so you can adjust them and again the material feels really nice and thick and they are both double lined so really nice quality and i think these were only 12 dollars for this set and they had them in about four or five colors just as they do on zaffle i just really liked this color because i thought it looked nice with like blonde hair but yeah about $12 for these and really excited to try them on. And the next bikini I got was this green one. I think it's probably my favorite one. I just think it looks really, really nice. And this top is in a large and so are the bottoms. A few I got in a large, a few I got in a medium because the sizing was a bit different. And I was told with Zaffle they run quite small. So I thought I'd just go up a size just to be sure that they would fit. And the material is again, really similar to that of the white one, the black one, and that blue one I've just shown. It's kind of that, I'll show you a more detailed shot if you can see, but it looks a bit more, kind. it looks kind of ribbed in a way, I can't really describe it, but it's got pads again, really thick straps. This is double lined with the same material, although it looks quite small on the top for a large, like I don't think you could be that big and wear this because otherwise I just don't I genuinely think it would fit very well. And the back has got adjustable straps, so this is what the bottoms look like. It's the same material and they are double lined again with that material. And I got these in a large um, because they didn't have an adjustable strap on the side. So I thought I'd better be safe than sorry. Um, they are quite nice and stretchy though. And yeah, I just really, really like this color. And again, I believe these were about 12 to $14 max. So really, really nice set there. So I got another bikini and this one is one I've seen quite a lot actually, I think I've seen it on Instagram when I've been scrolling and things and it's the one with the baby pink top and the tropical bottoms so the style of this top is very similar to the green one with the size of the cups but this one looks a bit bigger it is padded, the material feels a bit thinner, it's very similar to the other tropical material more of like a classic swimsuit material whereas the more ribbed ones seem a lot thicker and a bit more structured in a way whereas this one as you can see it's not as structured at all there's only the pads but this bit i guess if it was too big or too small it wouldn't fit that well i ordered this one in a medium i think again following their size guide and they've just got a nice clip on the back this one does not have adjustable straps and the bottoms again are these are double lined a different tropical material but they feel reasonably nice and stretchy again classical swimsuit material it's not the ribbed kind but they are double lined so they should fit pretty nicely and they're quite small and cheeky as well so this set again was about 14 dollars such a cheeky thing so I got another swimsuit as well because I don't always like to wear bikinis at my gym and at the spa because I don't know it's just it's just not really the place to be to be fair not at my spa anyway. So I got another swimsuit which is tropical and I totally forgot I ordered two of these like it looks really similar to the other one because this one arrived a bit later and it looks quite a bit smaller. What size did I order this in? It looks quite small. 
Well, this is in a medium, but it is slightly different with the front. Obviously, you can see there's different straps here, and it's a very, very low back, but I believe that these straps kind of all cross over because there's lots of places to put them, if you can just see there. I really like the material of this one. It is all double lined, again, with the removable pads, and yeah, it just looks really nice. I think it's about $15 for this. It doesn't seem as cheeky as the others, just like the um, bikinis are a bit more cheeky than the actual swimsuits. But I thought it was really nice just to wear if you're just lounging or whatever. So again, a, a Zaffle bikini for around $15 and the links for these are down below. Don't forget if you want to check them out, but I really do like this one. So the last bikini on this haul is probably my favourite one to be fair. I had one like this before which was from Calvin Klein or something. Um, but it's another Zaffle one and it's a red one where the cups don't fill as much as the underwire. I don't know what the name of this is at all. Um, they are padded. Again, it's the kind of the material of the pink one. There is an adjustable strap and you can clip it at the back with the metal clasp. But it feels very, as you can see, if I just hold it like this, it just completely stays up. It doesn't bend at all. The wire is quite strong. So I ordered this in a medium and I'm hoping it fits, but it does look quite small. And the bottoms as well, I believe these are also in a medium. Um, this is double lined. And this one I think is like the cheekiest one I've seen. So as you can see, the way that the pants go, it looks like they're meant to be quite hiked up on your hips because it's got kind of a V at the front. So they look quite small, but yeah, double lined. And this again was about $12. It was near the top of their website as well, so I think it's a new addition. But I really like this and I really like the colour of this. So the next thing I got was a little bag. And it has a little strap on the top, but you can also wear it crossbody or over your shoulder. It's quite a long strap as you can see. But it's just this kind of dusky pink bag and it's really structured. So even if I open this, the structure stays the same. As you can see there, it's a nice size. You could fit like a purse, phone, a few bits in it. It's got a little zip pocket. But the quality of it feels really, really nice. Um, so it really reminded me of a Gucci style bag with the embroidery. It feels really nice. And I think with an all black outfit or something, this would look really, really nice. Especially with like a black leather jacket, some leggings, I don't know, in the autumn. I'm just kind of living for autumn fashion right now. So this was about $23, $24 and I really, really like it. The next thing I got was a pair of trousers, which I'm just going to probably just lounge around the house in. But they're a navy and white stripe, really wide leg trouser. And I really like wearing trousers on my waist, but you can't wear these that high. Especially, well, at my height, I'm 5'7", and they kind of go a bit like ankle grazers. So you can't do that. You have to wear them on your hips. But they look really nice on the picture. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't really necessarily wear them out. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're kind of that material that if you probably wore them out for longer, they'd stretch a lot further out because they feel like they feel a little bit short. But I know gravity is one of those things if you hold them up that if you hold them up for long enough, they'd get a bit longer because it's that kind of jersey material. I've got a few things from Zara that are the same. But these were $21 and they're just really nice to lounge around the house in. So yeah. We are now on to the final thing, and I actually posted on Instagram wearing this t-shirt, but it is one that says Girl Gang. It's just a black short crop t-shirt, but I really like it actually. It's quite thin, but it's not noticeable when you're actually wearing it. It's just really nice and comfortable, and I just wore it with some of my high-waisted Lululemons and some trainers, and yeah, that was pretty much my outfit. But I just really like the vibe of this. I've seen a few others around from different stores, and I thought I'd pick it up. It was only about seven dollars I want to say not even that so that is everything that I got from Rose Gal so that is everything that I got from Rose Gal I want to say a huge thank you to them for gifting me with everything and being able to show you guys everything that I got so I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you've got any questions about any specific items that I tried on then don't forget to leave it in the comments and subscribe for my next video like I said all the links in the description will be for every single product and the prices were all under $25 if you're interested and the shipping was free and I didn't have to pay any customs charges at all when they arrived so thumbs up for that but yeah I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you enjoyed this one I'll see you in the next one Bye.